Alabama grad transfer Joseph Bulovis will kick off for Bandy. Bama special teams were sensational last week against Louisiana Monroe. Kool-Aid McKinstry to return. A knuckleball and McKinstry will let it trickle into the end zone. And that was the imperfection we referenced in the open for this Alabama team. And they'll throw on first down, a little play action. And Jermaine Burton, and that is a QB wide receiver relationship that needs to be developed. Jameer Gibbs in motion. Bryce will hand it off to Jason McClellan, and he's got an Alabama first down. Four man rush. They get it to Cameron Latu, and he is stopped immediately. Pick up a five, and that'll bring up fourth down for Alabama. They're going to split out Swan. Davis will take the direct snap. And has nowhere to go. Henry Toe Toe breaks through for the tackle. It's a loss of four. And the Heisman Trophy winner, Bryce Young. And he gets rid of it quickly, slings it out to Ja'Cory Brooks, and he's got a first down. Big explosive plays downfield, and just hasn't been that way for Bryce Young in this Alabama offense early on. But not because the opportunities haven't been there. Goes right back to Brooks, who springs free on the sideline for a big game for Alabama. Bryce Young, six for six. Looking for Gibbs. No, looking for the end zone. Brooks again. Foot down, touchdown. A couple lip sweaters and some lettuce. Just Your hair falling. would look great feathered. Here's McGowan, second catch of the game. And he picks up nine on first down. And the jet sweep to McGowan. He's got a first down as he takes it to the 39. Yeah, guys, I talked to Clark Lee, Vanderbilt head football coach. Pressure coming again. And he'll lob it out there for Shepard, who makes a move to the inside. And he's got it into Alabama territory. Davis trying to find the edge, and he does so. And a Vanderbilt first down. Will Anderson right now matched up one on one with Jacob Brammer down here at the bottom of your screen. Let's see if they have Ray Davis come chip and help out. Davis runs around him and incomplete. 41 yard attempt. Joseph Bullivis. And he drills it. Bill O'Brien told us yesterday one of the things they think can help him is simplifying that. And here he is, the catch across the middle. And he takes it to the logo for a Bama first down. Gibbs and McClellan in the backfield. Bryce Young will go over the middle again. And this is a catch for Jermaine Burton again. So here comes that rhythm. 4,800 yards last year for Bryce Young. And he is hooking up with Ja'Cory Brooks on the regular tonight. That's a 15-yard game. Every chance Vandy gives it to him. Right here again. A lot of room for McClellan. And that'll set up a first to goal for Alabama. Play action into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Trayshawn Holden. Third and short. Schoenwald trying to lead the way, and Ray Davis is stoned at the line of scrimmage. Maybe picked up a half yard. Quarterback will keep it, and gets taken down. Will Anderson, Jr., lying in wait to get ready for two different quarterbacks. I asked Pete down there, you think they'll play two? He goes, I hope they don't. Yeah. Bryce taking a shot. It's Brooks again. Touchdown. Third and five. Swan. Incomplete. No flag. He's trying to find Ray Davis. They hooked up on a key fourth down last Saturday against Northern Illinois. With your coverage on the outside, it's going to be a tough play to make. Coverage by To'o To, one of the smartest defensive players in the country. 
Fumbled on the return. McKintry scoops it back up. Schoenwald misses. And McKintry takes it past the 40. Did you fall off the mechanical bowl? Bryce Young looking deep. On the run, able to figure it out to Holden again. And into bandy territory, pick up a 25. First year defensive coordinator. They'll drop eight again. Bryce Young going down the sideline and incomplete. Trying to keep the drive alive. Bryce Young on skates now. Heaves it. Latu too much. And Latu third down six. Cheetah packets for Alabama defense. First time we've seen it this year, Tom. Anderson got there. It was a simple foot race, and Will Anderson with the sack for Alabama. Here's Jace McClellan. And it's never, never a good sign. McClellan, shoe fits fine. Here he goes. Pass midfield. And a pickup of 26. Two tight ends in the game with a toss first touch for Gibbs. Engineer Gibbs gets bottled up trying to stretch it out. Lined up at tight end. And McClellan will get it, I think. Feathered hair and all. Nice young looking crossing route. And here's Jameer Gibbs out of the backfield. Best receiver on the team by numbers. And the running back still on his feet. And he will truck all the way inside the 10. Down to the 7. 26 yard gain. Looking for four. Gibbs out of the backfield. Spin move. Goal line. Touchdown, Alabama. Take notes. Last time you left Will Anderson one on one. The game up front. Anderson got to him again. Waited for the traffic to clear. And they're used to it. They've run more two plus tight end yep. sets than anybody in the SEC, if not the country. Kinstreet trying to make a move. He does so. Now he's trying to find the edge. Turn up field. Here's Kool Aid McKinstry. And a sweet return into Vandy territory. Ball out late. Vanderbilt recovered it. He had a great close of the season. Toto coming up. Blitz, and it's a third sack of the game. Toto couldn't get there. DJ Dale beat him to it. Before the fumble, which gave Vandy the ball. See if he gets another opportunity. They have two returners back there, and that one's dropped. And Alabama able to fall on it. Right, Young, four touchdowns in the first half. And here's Jameer Gibbs. He is shifty. Right, Young going deep. It is caught. Jermaine Burton. And Bama will have a chance with 10 ticks left and a timeout taken by the Tide after that 48-yard gain. It'll be a 40-yard field goal attempt for Will Reichert. From the right hash, and it is good. 31 to 3. They knew what they were up against in the number two team in the country. And Swan going back shoulder here. Another fantastic grab by Will Shepard. Right, some of these throws, that throw right there to Will Shepard, that's a confidence booster. Another one here, back shoulder again to Will Shepard out there. That's three times they've connected downfield. Anderson now working on the right side of the line. Jacob Brammer. Had to come inside. That is a dart, and it's just off the hands of Ben Bresnahan. That's how this offense becomes unstoppable. Arguably the only area of imperfection. Here's Latu. And he picks up 10. Well, let me tell you, Cole came to Tuscaloosa this weekend 
and he made history. They pressure Bryce Young. He gets it away. There's a first down. He finds Kobe Prentice. 32 of 41 plays through the air. They'll add another one, perhaps. Young, they'll half roll. That is complete for another first down. Yeah, a, a pretty cool weekend to be around the head coach as much as we were. On second and four. It was the easiest job Chris Stewart ever had. He didn't even have to talk. Wide open again, finding soft spots in that bandy zone. It's Prentice. Yep. Roy Dell Williams' first touch tonight. We used to always watch film as quarterbacks. Cole does, did that better than anybody there right before halftime. He'll go with Williams again. And Roy Dell Williams is making the most of his second half opportunity. Roy, uh, Jace McClellan now in the backfield. Need one for the first down and ran into his own guy. And Vanderbilt able to stop him. Unbelievable. That guy just gave you a failing grade. Riker on for the 21 yarder. And the chip shot is good. And ESPN, we have donated a $1,000 donors choose gift card to Debbie Crawford, principal at Holt Elementary, used towards school resources and supplies. Let's see if they dare run a pass backed up this far. They do. Swamp play action. Trying to go back shoulder, and that'll draw a flag. And well, that's not how Nick Saban teaches it, Cole, but we did learn how he teaches his DBs to defend a back shoulder. And incomplete. Working alongside John Parker Wilson with their engineer Tom Stipe. That one complete. That's Cameron Latu. And I thought Chris looking forward to Eli's return to the broadcast booth. Here's Jameer Gibbs. And Gibbs takes it for a first down. By the way, when you draw that play up, you're like, no, we're never going to get there. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe you do. Chase McClellan. Uh -oh. When you knock a guy's mouthpiece to the ground, you've made solid contact. Not too attached here. And McClellan finds another hole. And he throws him to the ground. Touchdown from 12 yards out for Chase McClellan. Wasn't the tallest, wasn't the fastest, wasn't the strongest. But the guy just knew the game and knew how to play it well. They sack him again, converging on Swan, Will Anderson, Jr., and Chris Braswell. Was 0 for 2 against Monroe last week. Led him four games last year. Was the number four dual threat quarterback in the country. And has to fall on this one. From uh, Tompkins High School in Katy, Texas. Actually, a ton more Arkansas fans. Arkansas showed up. First connection with the tight end, Gavin Schoenwald. Now with the Cavaliers. There's Ray Davis. You wonder if that would have to change. If DBs can never take advantage of that. More time to react. He's able to check down to Jaden McGowan. Some well, even with even with saving assistance, it's worked some, but not very often. Obviously, Kirby made it work. Here's Jalen Milrow going deep, trying to go back sold, uh, shoulder. And we got a flag coming in late. You want him to see things, make the right decisions, right? Pass interference on the defense number 28. Nobody better than Nick Saban in this Alabama program at turning prospects and recruits pressure into NFL players. Milrow with the U-turn. Milrow finds a wide open receiver and a first down. I mean, mullets are back. They're fully back. Not the old, like, Kentucky waterfall. Look, he's got a mullet. That's the new style mullet. Personal foul. Illegal hands to the face on the defense number 92. I would have thought that when you played here, you took a hit so hard it knocked the hair right off your feet into the end zone incomplete. Yeah, I don't really remember playing here. I know I did, but. Holding on the offense number 65. I feel like the best part that we're skipping on that whole thing is Jordan's fake bow up there before he hit Mark Perrin. Like <laughs> he was going to attempt to run him over while in the air, yep. and it just didn't quite work. Here's Melrod with room to run. Got out of her skis a little bit, regained his balance, and he took it inside the five. Yeah. Alabama up 38. No longer. They will 
punch it in. Jamarian Miller. Well, that is something. Wow, what a catch by Sean Wald. He carries a first down. You don't think Tennessee fan base is going to overreact to this start, do you? Oh, I would kill you in thumb wars. Six out of ten, I doubt it. Five, six, seven, eight. It'll be a piece of cake. Incomplete. Ray Davis. The new Rydell Axiom helmet. Uh, Anthony Richardson wears it. I'm trying to think of some other notable players that guys will see that wear it. There's, there's not a ton of guys on each team that wear it. Uh, the advantage is it's it's the shell of the helmet. Here's McKinstry trying to get to the outside and another solid return. Finish up quick. When you have that perspective, and especially when you have a teammate like Bryce that's giving you the perspective on a daily basis, what he sees, why he sees it, it just it 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 hits different than when a coach does it. Mm -hmm. We we souffle, no souffles. Oh. Straight ahead run, and Alabama looking for more. And Jerry Miller is going to take it to the house. There is moral victories when it comes to development and confidence. Not that you're okay with that, but you do take things away from games like this and competing against teams that are top ranked in the entire country, and you learn from it and you, and you grow from it, and that's what Clark Lee and Vanderbilt are going to try to take away from tonight. Still fighting to the end. Clark, yeah. hey, Clark's not giving it up. 23rd consecutive win for Alabama against Vanderbilt. We'll hear from Nick Saban in a moment. It'll be interesting to see what he says to Cole about what goals they met tonight. 